Stuvreta Summer Camp Singapore is drawing to a close. Uh, how do you describe this experience? Uh, wonderful. Once in a lifetime experience. Or hopefully not once. <laughs> hopefully many more times. But uh, it's been great uh, seeing all these kids everywhere from like five year olds to, uh, to 20 year olds um, developing and also showing us some great skills from the start. So um, it's been great. How do you describe the level of floorball here in Singapore? Uh, it's actually better than I thought and um, I mean they have uh, all the tools to to get really really good and uh, since there are very many players right now uh, and the sport is growing and uh, I see no no boundaries I really look forward to, to following the development here beyond the summer camp of course there was the all-star game what do you think of the game itself and the fan response during and after the game yeah, that was uh, that was something else for sure. Um, it was a great atmosphere uh, in the cool arena, uh, which was like in this big sport hub, uh, and uh, and then also it was really really great to to face the Singaporean U19 team uh, and um, and play along with the with the Wonder Sticks as well. It was a great experience both on and off the pitch. So what do you think it means uh, for Singapore floorball that a big club like Stuvreta Ibeko comes here? Uh, I think it means a lot to them, uh, as well as it does to us. Uh, but uh, since we, we've, been, we've been at this sport for, for so much longer than, than they have, so uh, I think we have a little bit more experience and can, can teach them some, uh, some, some cool moves and, some, uh, and also some basics that they haven't learned yet. So um, yeah, it's, uh, I think it's been a great experience for, for them as well. It looked, looked so on the, on the happy faces after, after the camp. What do you think of Floorball's future in Singapore? Uh, I think it looks bright, um, only from telling after the camp and, um, and also from the, the All-Star game, uh, playing against U19 guys that were actually really good, they surprised me a lot. Uh, so, uh, they, as I said before, they have all the tools, uh, so let's just hope that they can create some magic with it. And on a personal level, of course, in international play, you represent Iceland, another smaller nation in floorball. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, I mean uh, that's uh, that's uh, on a whole nother level because I think we're like 200, uh, 200 players in the whole country, and uh, there were like 300 guys uh, on the camp and uh, on the All-Star game. So, so um, I think we we're even further away from uh, from Sweden and, uh, and the the big guys uh, uh, up in like top four. So, uh, but we're we're doing the best we can, and um, it's uh, I think uh, a good start is like doing they've been doing here in in Singapore. Uh, to try to, to get the sport into schools and uh, have school teams and then from there you can develop and, uh, and create like clubs uh, to play in, in the different divisions so um, I mean we're still in the, the early stage uh, of, uh, of, of, of the nation in, in floorball so um, we're but we're getting there we're getting there just just wait for us